어? 진영! 안녕! 어? 안녕! 오랜만이야! 오랜만에 봤는데 오늘 저녁은 어때? 아 오늘? 오늘 괜찮아! 오 좋아! 키캡! 진영이한테 그 식당 주소 알려줄래? <웃음> 안녕! Welcome back! In this lesson, we're going to cover two grammar forms that are often used together, the particle e and 식. But before we start, I should give you a disclaimer that this lesson is for intermediate level learners and might be a bit difficult for beginners to use in their sentences. But you know, don't let me tell you what to do. The first particle we're going to be learning about is the particle a. But wait, Billy, isn't a used to say to or at a location? Yes, but it has a few other uses too, one of which we'll cover in this lesson. So try to keep this form separate in your notes. The particle a can also be used after a noun to mean each or per or a. For example, to say, I eat 10 grapefruits each day, or 10 grapefruits per day, or 10 grapefruits a day. That's actually an unhealthy amount of grapefruits, but let's focus on the lesson. However you translate this in English is up to you, but it can be used in this way after any sort of countable noun. So not only things like grapefruit, but also with time or money. For example, 하루에 두 시간 공부해요. I study two hours each or per or a day. Avocado는 두 개에 삼천 원이에요. It's three thousand one for two avocados. In this sentence, translating it as each or per or a don't really fit since it's for two avocados. So literally, each two avocados, if it helps to think of it like this. You can even flip the sentence around and put the amount first and get a similar meaning. For example, instead of saying 3,001 for two avocados, you could say this. 아보카도는 3,000 원에 두 개를 살수 있어요. You can buy two avocados for 3,001. So when the particle a is used like this, for will also sometimes be a good way to translate it. Just keep in mind that how you translate this is up to you and that the meaning in Korean doesn't change. And here's just one more example. 한 번에 천 원입니다. It's 1,001 each time. Or literally, it's 1,001 for one time. Okay, so that's it. Well, as far as how to use the particle a like this, yeah, that's it. But there's one more thing you should also know, which is often used together with this particle a, and that is shik. Shik can also attach onto the end of a word. Usually this will be a counter word. For example, shigan for hour, k for objects, myung for a person, etc. And shik will often attach onto the end of whatever counter word is used together with the particle a. And shik also means each. Hold on, Billy, hold on. You just said the particle a can translate as each, right? Okay, yes, shik can also translate as each. But good news, it's actually usually optional. Attaching shik onto the end of a counter word is really just to add emphasis to the meaning of each. And again, yes, it's optional, but I recommend it whenever possible because it really makes the meaning stronger and therefore clearer. I mean, look at it this way. The particle a is already used for other things in Korean. So to make it really clear that you mean each and not two or something else, I recommend attaching it. For example, here's one of our sentences from earlier, now with 식. 하루에 두 시간씩 공부해요. I study two hours each day. So attaching 식 emphasizes that meaning of each. So instead of just two hours a day, it feels more like two hours each and every day. Now the overall meaning is still the same as before, but the nuance changes. And in my opinion, this nuance is a little better. Here are a few more examples. 삼십분에 한 번씩 손을 씻으세요. 
Wash your hands once each 30 minutes. While this sentence would also work without shi, adding it makes it clear that you mean every 30 minutes. How many books do you read each week? We sell mackerel like this, three each. One more thing you can do is attach chic even without using the particle a. Now, when you do this, it still adds that meaning of each or every, although without specifying how often or what it's for. For a quick example, they're 10,000 won each. And you can also do this after an amount of time. So when you attach shik after an amount of time, what it actually does is adds the feeling that something is happening multiple times over some period of time. Here's an example. I have to take five of this medicine. Here, we can assume that they're taking five of them every time they take it. So they're taking five multiple times over some period of time. I go to the dermatologist every one time? Remember that the action here is happening multiple times over some period of time. So you can instead translate this as perhaps, I go to the dermatologist every once in a while. So to summarize, you can attach chic after a counter and it adds the meaning of each. Okay, we're almost done. You might also see chic attached onto certain adverbs like chogum or kakum. This adds more emphasis to these words, kind of like attaching the feeling of each to their meaning. So while chogum means a little, chogum chic means little by little or gradually. I'm learning little by little. Versus without it, I'm learning a little. And kakum means sometimes, while kakum shik means sometimes, but not often. I watch movies sometimes. You can simply memorize those two separately. And that's all for today. You can also learn even more about this topic in the extended PDF version of this lesson, which is available to download for free on my website. Yes, free. Thanks for watching. And remember that I upload new videos to my channel each and every week. So if you like what you see, click subscribe. 그럼 다음에 또 봐. 아, 진영이 어디 있는 거야? 아, 키케. 진영이한테 주소 알려줬지? I'm